Hello, and welcome to the 56th edition of Beer Issues. My name is Matt Bruckert, and I am so excited about this new year and a whole bunch of new beers for the new year. So today, we're going to be doing a beer that actually I've never had before. It is the Boulevard Whiskey Barrel Stout, which is a nice wintertime beer. It clocks in at 11.8% alcohol by volume, so it's kind of a boozy imperial type stout uh, aged in whiskey barrels, not bourbon barrels, so that should add a, a little bit less of a uh, pop on the beer, so I'm, I'm kind of really excited about this beer. Now this beer is rated 92 out of 100, so it is an outstanding beer. So I'm really excited to try this. I'm going to pour a small amount into the glass, not too terribly much, so we can get a good smell on this beer and kind of check it out. As you can see, like uh, most uh, Imperial Stouts, it is black, like a motor oil in color. Oh, right off the bat, when you smell that, you're going to get uh, that the uh, whiskey smell. But I also get the coffee, and I also get uh, chocolate. There's definitely some chocolate in there. And there's a few other things. I'm going to, like a vanilla. Now I'm going to try something. I'm going to smell it from the top of the glass. So it's interesting. At the lower glass, you get more of the whiskey smell. The upper glass, you get a little bit more of the chocolatey smell. So that's something I learned through a taste, uh, tequila tasting I went through, actually, smelling the bottom of the glass and the top of the glass. So pretty excited about that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to taste this. Um, there's definitely some vanilla in there, so I'm excited how it all blends together. Because with bourbon barrel stouts, you usually get a real strong bourbon flavor. Whiskey's not quite as strong of a flavor, so it should be a, a good blend. I'm excited about it. Mmm, mm, that is good. Now, it, it's exactly like I thought. The whiskey isn't quite as pronounced as the, the bourbon. The bourbon sometimes will overpower a stout almost, depending on how strong they make it with the, or how long they age it. Now, this one's been aged for like over a year um, in the bourbon barrels, so it do, or the whiskey barrels. So it does have a good whiskey flavor, but it's not so overpowering that it takes away from the quality of the stout. So you get a really nice uh, stout flavor. Uh, so you taste the whiskey, you taste the chocolate, you taste the coffee, uh, some vanilla. And there might be even uh, even some, uh, I'm trying to think of that other taste. That's probably just the malts, but it's really a nice, good quality beer. This is, you know, like I said, it's rated 92 out of 100. Now to tell you a little bit about this beer, it's from Missouri. I think it's Kansas City. Um, but this, this beer really has a nice backstory, and I'm going to go through it real quick here, not to overwhelm you with facts, but the founder, John McDonald, um, uh, traveled Europe, and he started drinking the Belgian beers. So he's just like me. He fell in love with Belgian beers. He was just a giant fan of the Belgian beers, wanted to sample all of them, and he went through and he drank all these beers and fell in love with it. And when he got home, he said, gosh, we really need, you know, Belgian beers here. So what he decided to do, he wanted to open up a brewery. He was a carpenter at the time. And so he sold his house, took a, took a gamble, sold his house, used the money to start a brewery, uh, which he built, you know, because he was a carpenter. He built it out and did the whole thing. So um, in the, uh, once he did that, in 1989, he came out with his first beer. It was a pale ale. So the Boulevard Pale Ale was the first beer that they did. Um, now, that was very successful, very popular. It grew and it grew and it grew to the point in 20, 2006, they did a $25 million expansion on the brewery to make it a 150 barrel brew house, which is you know pretty good size. And then again in 2016, uh, they expanded to add a 36,000 square foot uh, square foot uh, barrel aging uh, storage facility where they could store age the beer. Uh, so there's 6,000 barrel brew house. So six rooms in this 36,000 with it holds a thousand barrels in each room for, for storing. 
So that's what, how they're able to make these good quality a barrel aged whiskey aged type beers because they do both. Okay. Um, now this beer eventually they did combine this with a Belgian brewery. So this is part of the Duvel uh, family. Uh, so Duvel beer, uh, Belgian beer. So this is all part of the same company now. So um, if you've enjoyed this, make sure uh, you do tell your uh, friends, family, coworkers, anybody who might be interested in beer, make sure they know about it and make sure they share it with their friends and make sure they like it on Facebook. Um, and so uh, this beer, like I said, clocks in at 11.8% alcohol. So it's not something you're gonna sit by the pool, but in the winter time, a nice warm uh, stout like this is just a little slice of heaven. So I'm gonna sit back and enjoy this beer. And as my wife likes to say, I have beer issues.